Welcome to another video in the SAP S4 HANA Credit Management Playlist. By now we understand the difference between the credit segment and the credit controlling area. And we know that when we create a sales order, SAP automatically determines the credit controlling area based on configuration. And this is what I will explain today. So how does SAP determine the credit controlling area when we create a sales order? When we create a sales order, SAP checks four levels to find the credit controlling area. The first level is a user exit, which allows us to type the code we want to determine the credit controlling area based on our criteria. I will leave you the name of the user exit in the description of the video. If the user exit is not activated, then SAP will move to the second level. Is there a credit controlling area maintained in the business partner master data? In the business partner master data, we can maintain a credit controlling area in the sales customer rule under the sales and distribution details under the billing tab. If we maintain a credit controlling area there, then SAP will find it. But if there is no credit controlling area maintained in the business partner, then SAP will move to the third level. Is there a credit controlling area assigned to the sales area? The sales area is the sales organization plus distribution channel plus division. So you see how dynamic this is. We can have different credit controlling areas based on the sales organization or based on the distribution channels or based on the divisions. And based on the credit controlling area, we can determine different credit segments as I explained in the last video. And from the credit segment, we can determine different credit limit and the other credit management details. So you see how dynamic this is. Now, if there is no credit controlling area assigned to the sales area, then SAP will move to the fourth level. Is there a default credit controlling area assigned to the company code? And here there is a very common misunderstanding that we can only assign one credit controlling area to a company code. And this is completely wrong because as you see here, we can define one default credit controlling area for the company code, but SAP will determine it only if it's not able to find the credit controlling area from the other three levels. So it is completely normal that we have multiple credit controlling areas inside the same company code. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations, configuration materials and study notes, you can check the channel membership program. You can also check the rest of the playlist here, the next video here, or other interesting videos up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.